Latte art is an extremely fun part of learning to make coffee at home and a great way to impress your friends. However, if you're anything like myself, sometimes, or maybe even most of the time, you're just not in the mood for a milk-based drink. And if you can't get in the practice, it's awfully hard to really excel at learning latte art. That's why today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can practice and do latte art on Americanos. And it's actually extremely easy. All you're going to do is prep your shot exactly like you would for an Americano, but use your spouted portafilter to divide that shot into a latte cup and into a milk pitcher. Once you have your half shot of espresso in your milk pitcher, all you're then gonna do is fill up to your normal milk line with cold water, cold, cold water from the fridge and two ice cubes. What those two ice cubes are gonna do is allow you to have enough time to fully integrate the air into this mixture, which does take a little bit longer than if you're using milk. Then you just steam like you normally would. Introduce the air and then integrate, integrate, integrate. Again, those ice cubes are gonna give you a little bit of extra time to integrate the bubbles properly. If you do this correctly, you will find that you are left with a white, silky texture, which you can then use to pour latte art like you would with any other milk. Now, I do find this method is a little bit more difficult than using cow's milk, and it's actually more comparable to something like an alternative milk such as oat milk. So if you use alternative milks a lot, this is a great way to practice. Also, if you take milk in your Americanos typically, you can add that directly into the pitcher and it's gonna give you a little bit more definition on your latte art lines. So give this a try for yourself. If you are successful, be sure to tag me on Instagram so that I can see your beautiful Americano latte art. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave it a like and even consider subscribing if you want to see some more like it in the future. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.